So you're playing Nightmare Mode in Phasmophobia and you have EMF5 and ghostwriting as your two pieces of evidence. How do you test to figure out what the ghost is? I'm going to show you that right here. So the three options are Spirit, Miling, or Shade. Those are our three options. Pretty much hunts are going to be the way that you're going to want to determine this, which means we're probably going to need a smudge stick, which I have the tier three smudge. I try to keep everything tier two, but I forgot that. So it is what it is. So we kind of need to get hunted. And it's one thing whenever you start playing nightmare mode, you got to be comfortable with getting hunted and getting away. You don't have to know how to loop. You just have to know where your hiding spot is. So one of the big tips of nightmare is to find your hiding spot. So let's find what our hiding spot is. The ghost should be in the basement. I've already gotten those two pieces of evidence. No hiding spot there. I'm hoping my nursery hiding spot is open. I like that one the most. It is not. But is this one a hiding spot? It's been safe for me before in the past. So we're looking for our hiding spot so we can hide this closet. Okay, perfect. So we know what we have to do. We're pretty much going to have to get hunted. Now, before we get into range, I should be at 100% sanity because I did take a sanity pill. So we have the ghost riding and we've gotten EMF5 a couple times. It's actually wrote in the book twice now. Uh, I do need to turn off my headlight. I wasn't even using it. Where's my camera? Okay. So let's take a picture of this because now that it did. So you do want to see if it's going to interact with anything because that could be a shade as well. If it doesn't do a lot of interaction in the ghost room, that's what you could be looking for with the shade. Miling, it's the miling test where you're listening to see do your electronics malfunction before you hear the ghost footsteps and noise in a spirit. It's the most boring and unreliable test in the game if you watch my previous video and i do not like that one but we should be able to determine that hopefully pretty easily so if you do get this combination even if not in nightmare mode it's going to be pretty easy to determine where the which ghost it is <clears throat> so let's get hunted all right that's going to be our funness so what is in here it is throwing things it leads me to think it's not going to be a shade So it's just going to kind of determine when it hunts, right? Because shades will also hunt way later. So since it's throwing things in the room, I don't really know how well that's going to go. So when we look at the mirror, it takes away about 20% sanity. We're probably at around 70-ish percent right now. Now we should be at about 50. So yes, I did have the, uh, the mirror. Now what we got to see is, is the ghost going to start hunting us or not? Now what we can do is turn on the light in here to see as well, but I don't know what I, what our sanity is at. So we do just need to get hunted. So maybe I'll just leave this off. And again, for, for miling test, you want to be kind of a bit away from the ghost room. Now because it's in the basement, Tanglewood is a little bit smaller. It's a little bit tougher to listen for it, but it should be rather obvious whenever it does start hunting because... You're, we're not going to hear the ghost again until the flashlight starts blinking. Now, if you don't want the ghost to come in here, you can set it on the ground like this and do it that way. That way it's not attracted to you, which is definitely what I recommend. You usually want to do this in a hiding spot, but... Okay, so it is hunting, probably not a shade, but because the ghost is a little bit of ways away, I feel like it's going to be easier doing this. We hear interacting. We don't see but we don't hear it. How are we gonna be a miling? Yeah, we're not hearing anything, we know it's hunting. Was in the basement, but again, with how small Tanglewood is, should be able to hear it. We did not hear that at all. Uh, it's either going to be a spirit or a shade. Well, no, or a miling. I'm really leaning towards miling. We go ahead and rule out shade again because our sanity probably the, probably did not let us drop to 35% sanity. Yeah, you kind of have to just guess with this. But the good thing about shade is we can kind of rule out. I mean, you can't really. You can rule out a spirit if it hunts less than 180 seconds for the smudge. But uh, if you are not good with the miling test, could try this. Now we can move this into our hiding spot come on man okay so 
So you see, at, we can hear the, the ghost now as soon as our electronics started malfunctioning. Will it go out of range? Yeah, it, as soon as it went out of range, we couldn't hear it. Maybe my big mouth talked during that, so maybe you couldn't quite get it to perfection, but that's going to be a myling. Now, if we're not sure, what we can do now is attract the ghost to us, and I have a smudge timer here. I do have a smudge timer. I have it on my screen in a certain way. I like using this. Um, I recommend using this. We could also use it in between hunts, so we know when it's going to hunt again. Um, I'm safe to assume it's a myling, but if you're like, I don't know, it's kind of confusing. It did seem quiet, but I don't really know. Trust me, I'm the expert here. It's a myling. But just to be safe, we could smudge it and see how long it waited until it hunted. And I'm not going to sit here and have y'all wait for all that. So let's wait till when it hunts. I'll smudge it. You can watch me get away like the pro that I am. And we'll see when it uh, comes back. All right, so ghost here. We get you see how we hear the interactions, but we don't hear the ghost. That's a great way to to kind of pick up on a myling as well. If you hear interactions and you don't hear the ghost noises, is a very good way to tell. Oh my god, that thing scared the crap out of me. It came out of nowhere. Definitely seems like a myling. All right, now we're gonna start that. Uh, I'm gonna start our timer. We'll see how long it hunts again, and that's going to be our way to determine if the ghost is a spirit or not, and we can go ahead and rule that out. But this will be a myling, but we'll see when it hunts again. So there you go. About a minute 40, and it started hunting again. That means we can rule out a spirit. Because of how early it hunted us the first time, I'm going to rule out a shade. Let's take a look at this, though. See if it'll get away from us. Yeah, you see, footsteps went away as the electronics stopped malfunctioning. It's a myling, 100% of the time. So as you see, it was a myling. Biggest thing we did is survive hunts. And if you need to know how to survive hunts better, you can click or tap the screen now, better your game. It's gonna help you get more comfortable overall. Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy hunting, and I will see you over there.